Staff shortages across the country are being felt right here at home. In an effort to help, the Economic Development Authority for the city of Salem hosted a job fair today. But as 10 News reporter Alyssa Ray explains, the number of businesses looking for workers outweighed the number of people looking for work. The Salem Civic Center hosted more than 65 businesses and local industries at Tuesday's job fair. We've been talking with people from not just the Salem area, but from Roanoke and Fincastle and surrounding areas. SVH Services, that's based in Roanoke, provides services to individuals with disabilities and has many openings for hopeful hires. And Summit Helicopters out of Salem was on hand looking for drivers. But with staff shortages across the country, the amount of people looking for jobs has gone down. It's extremely difficult and it's frustrating that there isn't more people. It used to be fairly easy to find folks and now it's it's just become a struggle. During the pandemic, many workers left their jobs to pursue work from home roles, making job advertising and recruitment efforts less fruitful. All of our ads that we advertise on indeed have produced nothing in, in the last six months. The people looking for jobs were extremely pleased with the big turnout of businesses. It's really nice, man. I mean, these companies here, are, it's unbelievable. I mean, a lot of opportunities. John Kennedy is in the job hunt for the first time in 10 years. He was the caretaker for his father. After his passing, the job fair is a chance for a new beginning. If things change, you know, and I've gotten to the point where, you know, I, I need to get you know back into the workforce. A workforce that needs more workers, something the job fair hopes to help. In Salem, Alyssa Ray, 10 News, working for you.